All right, welcome back to the long drive. Last episode, we uh, ran into some car trouble, but now car's fixed. I totally didn't cheat it. Maybe I did. You'll never know. I did it off camera. Imagine the, imagine the horror. Oh man, I really hope you guys are having a good week so far. I am recording this a couple days ahead just to get ahead so I'm uh, less stressed out going forward. Uh, since I plan to upload every day pretty much for as long as I possibly can. That's basically why this series has gone the way it's gone, you know? It's pretty much daily. Uh, the long drive this week's gonna be Wednesday and Friday. And then Monday and Tuesday, we have a couple different games. I'm actually excited to put them out. Um, I'm hoping one turns into a series. The other one, I was just checking out a demo. I'm kind of mad that I missed that on the House Flipper, on the House Flipper 2D, uh, not DLC, the demo. Um, but I might bring House Flipper to the, the, you know, their first House Flipper to the channel again. I played that back in, geez, December of some, I think December or January, maybe. I really did. I really enjoyed that. I'm blinded by the sun. So we're just going to drive like this for now. Hopefully not run into anything wild on the, on the roadway here, but we're going to try to go about, I don't know. Let's see. We're at how many kilometers? 25. We'll go until like 45 kilometers. Make a little shorter episode. Did have a comment asked to make the videos a little bit longer. So maybe we'll go for till 50 kilometers we'll go 25 kilometers this episode i think that might be a, a fair spot i'm really enjoying this game guys and you guys really seem to be enjoying the content which really makes me want to continue making the long drive videos oh man there's a dust storm out in the, in the distance there we hopefully can avoid that uh like i said not a fan but it doesn't look like we're going to kind of looks like we're getting lead, led right into it but after a couple days i think they do die down at least that's what i know but hopefully we can find some interesting spots today i haven't found a garage i haven't found a diner i found those both in separate it will speak of the devil speak of the devil i didn't even notice that until i saw the the light on top all right you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and sleep through it sleep through the night and then we'll check out what's inside in the morning. Let's go see what's inside this garage over here. Maybe a new car. Maybe there's not going to be a new car in there. I know that for, for sure. How's the dust storm looking? It looks a little weird, but it'd be all the way to the ground. Ah, who cares? You know what? It would make for a good video to see me get scared, wouldn't it? All the oil just poured out. Okay, well, we failed there. George, you have fallen. George, you, you need to uh, just behave there, you know? Well, we didn't find anything too too good there. We attempted to build the car. It didn't work. That's fine. Let's keep going. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I do kind of want to... I do wish that we could have built that car. I thought that would have been uh, really fun. Look at the road. It's doing the squiggles. Oh, no. That's how you know it's about to get crazy. You know when the road starts squiggling, that it's going to get a little bit nutty. Turn the lights off. Lights off. That in in instantly increased my frame rate. Wild how that works. All right, which way are we heading? What are we going to find next on this long drive? The sandstorm looks to be behind us now, which is a good thing. Don't have to deal with that. We got more just open, barren roads. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was a lot less gruesome than I thought. Okay, cool. We lost something. Oh, it was just a couple side mirrors. That's it. Did we lose any gauges? So we had to uh, worry about our... Oh, we're at 291. Okay, so we want to get to like 421. Ooh, 200 kilometers already? Or is that 0.2? Okay, that's 29.2. Gotcha. To be honest, I don't know if this is this car is in miles or, or kilometers. We're just going to say kilometers. Because most of the cars are European, I think, except for the Pontiac Fury, which I would love, love to be able to find and switch all this stuff over to. The problem is I don't have a siphon hose to get the gas out, but maybe we could find one at a gas station or something. And if you guys want me to, I will turn peaceful mode off for the next couple, for the next episode, and we'll see what happens, you know? My dog's barking. Hopefully you can't hear that. If you can, I'm sorry. But I think my noise gate's pretty good. I think it, I've got it to a point where you can't really hear much of anything in the background. Don't go too crazy. The tire, we need new tires. We need some new panels and new doors. New coat of paint on the, 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 just paint to have everything match. But the goal for this particular save is to go to the end of the map, no matter what. How, no matter how long it takes, no matter what biome we end in, that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna finish this. And then we know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go all the way back. This could be the longest series that I, this could be the longest series I'll ever do. <sighs> Tokyo it, save it. I did, somehow. I don't know why it does that, but hey, I'm not complaining. Oh, there's two sandstorms now? To be fair, I have the draw distance up pretty high, so that could be a good chunk of time away. And the road's turning this way anyway. There's a watchtower there. Oh, there's a bus. Okay, we got a nice bus. I love a good bus. Seems to be a favorite if, oh, there, I know there's a button under here to open the door. Let's click that. I 
the doors open. At least see if this starts. Come on. There we go. I don't think it's gonna start, because look at look at the state of it. I mean, come on. Get in, there we go. If this starts, I'll be I'll be shocked. Okay, it almost started. That would have been insane if it did. Oh my god. That would have been nutty. Alright, let's see what's up up here on the on the watchtower. Oops, clicking the wrong button. Come on now, there we go. Ooh. Oil. Don't need it. Woo! Okay. Oh, George and Clarissa have moved again. My family. I think I lost mom's letter at some point during our journey. Okay. Come on! First, let's go out of first person. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. Come on, out of first person now. Come on, there we go. I wonder how far away that is. Are we gonna get it in this episode? Potentially. I don't really want to. Don't make for good content because I'm such a wuss. There's a plane in the sky over there. So it's not. I know that the game's post apocalyptic, but obviously there's still people alive that are able to fly jets. Maybe military? I don't know. I'd love to see a full story of the, the backstory of this game at some point, you know? I don't know if that was ever the, the, the plan of the developer or not, but I think that'll be a really cool thing to implement into this game. Just like give a little backstory on what happened. Cause I know nothing. I've never even seen a theory about why, you know, you're in the apocalypse and driving through the desert like what, to get to your mother's house that presumably isn't there because of the apocalypse. Maybe that letter was sent prior to everything happening the way it did, who knows? I think it's plausible to say that uh, the reason for the apocalypse is unknown. All right, let's go ahead and sleep through the night. I don't like driving at night because personally, I just can't see. We are at 35 kilometers. So we've done what? Around 15, maybe? Um, I'm having a trouble here. There we go. I couldn't see my keyboard over my microphone. Oh, there's a gas station here. All right, well, we'll stop off here. A lot of stops this episode, more than I've had in any of the episodes so far, which is great. A little bumper, got a bot. What is that? Okay, we got a new rim. Yep, we can use that. Hello? Why can't I? Is it heavy? Why is it so heavy? I'm heavy in there. Ink can. And what's this? Oh, it's chocolate. Okay, I should turn hunger and thirst on. I forgot to do that in the menu today when I started up the game. Is this a blue paint? No, it's pink. I don't want that, but. We'll use this to break open this box. There's something heavy as shit in there. All right, let's see what we can find in here. I'm spray painting it. It's gold bars. Look at all the gold bars, man. Yeah. What's this? A new air freshener for our car. We'll put it right there. But again, I want to thank you guys so much for, for, for watching this series. I was worried that it wouldn't really do that well. Considering, you know, I've changed my content a bunch of times. Come on, car. There we go. Just didn't want to get out of reverse for some reason. Anything in the distance? Another building? Maybe a garage? A house? Something that we could find a Plymouth Fury at? I haven't found one of those diners. I had a pretty eventful episode. Can we go through one episode without flipping the car though? That's the question. That's the real question. I'm hoping we can. Looks like we're about to get to a grass biome at some point. Say goodbye to my frame rates. They're bad enough as they are. And going into the, the tall grass biomes is going to be not the greatest thing for my, my GPU. My, my GPU is going to be screaming at me. Turn it off! Turn it off! Alright, there's another spin out. Correct it. There we go. Tokyo Drift! We managed to miss those sandstorms, thankfully. Anything down there, boys? Nope. It doesn't look like it. It's still just a straight long road. We got a long way to go. Leave a comment. How many uh, episodes do you think I'm gonna have of the series? I'm thinking 60, 65, maybe more of the series getting there, I mean. So coming back is probably gonna be about 100 because I'm gonna explore way more of the open desert and try not to get lost, but I might try some mods. I know modding this game isn't the easiest thing in the world, so no, we'll try it. Can't hurt to try. Doesn't hurt to try anything in life. Remember that if you're afraid to try something, well, and you never know what could happen. I mean, I started YouTube on a whim in 2008 when it was a pretty much a, bland, a brand new platform and they opened it up to uh, anyone to upload. You didn't have to have like a certain amount of followers to get to, you know, to post. That's essentially what you had to do, um, if I remember correctly. I don't think that's the case. Maybe there was an upload limit. I think there's an upload limit, but whatever. Um, I turned 14 in 2008 and decided, you know what? I'm going to upload a tech deck video and that's exactly what i did i put one tech tech video out on my first channel that doesn't exist anymore 
and the rest is history. I fell in love with the platform. I fell in love with making content. Granted, I did take quite a long break, you know, from I think 2009 until 2000. Three. You know, the rest is history. I made this channel in 2016. Um, initially going into this, I wanted to do vlogs, like daily vlogging of my life, which looking back on it, why? You were have the most uninteresting life ever. At the time I was working at Big Lots, not Big Lots, Christmas tree shop, that's it. And I would vlog my trip to and from work every day, talking in the car or going to my, my voice lessons, my guitar lessons, or just hanging out with my friends. Nobody wants to watch that, you know? If you're not, you know, hot or rich, nobody cares about vlogs, but you have a shot with gaming. I think we're good on gas, but we could use some some supplies, you know? We have to make sure our coolant's good, the oil, oil especially. I think I filled up the oil. There's a bike here. All right, let's try this bike and see if we fall off of it this time as well. All right, turn the ignition off. All right, let's see, let's see. The bike is in really good shape. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, well, at least start and see. Okay, well, it doesn't work anyway. Didn't want it. Oh, put that away, Nick. Put it away, put it away, put it away. All right, let's get back in the car. Ooh, almost took the door off there. I wonder what that air freshener smells like. I'm gonna say, uh, itrous breeze. Driving in first person is not for me. It's never been for me in any video game ever created. If there was an only, if this only had first person view, we would, we would never make it to the end of this. Let's get back to business to end this episode we only have a few more oh we already reached the kilometer well, let's get the 50. we got three more kilometers to kill uh oh what did i do something didn't feel right there uh okay no i guess everything was fine i'm just not uh, it's cold in here i gotta turn the ac off and then go have dinner it's already oh my god it's four o'clock already guys i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna lie i started you know preparing to record at noon i got two videos done today so that's fun in the process of getting a couple videos done always love being productive man it's probably one of the best feelings in the world especially when you've gone through this shit that i have in the last few years Man, it's so rewarding. It's just so rewarding to get something done and feel accomplished and feel appreciated by the, the people that watch it. It's just, it's great. If you've ever been through a terrible, terrible, terrible breakup or any type of thing like that, right? it's a terrible relationship. Let's, let's get this straight. It, it sticks with you, man. It, it really does. Man, woman, it doesn't matter. It sticks with you and it sticks with you for a very, very long time. Just remember, man, if you're young and you're going through it, it gets better. It might take a while. Because I broke up, me and my ex broke up when I was 20, 25. I just turned 28 and I still, I've had a very, very hard time accepting everything and knowing what I, what she did to me and what happened. I'm not going to go into details because it's not YouTube friendly. And I use YouTube as a, a huge outlet for me back then uh, in 2020. And then I started collecting Pokemon cards. I started playing video games again because I didn't want to do anything. A little backstory on me. Honesty, transparency, that's my thing, especially you know, with a lot of creators just hide things and just pretend their life is perfect. I, I, I'll tell you, my life isn't perfect. Let's go ahead and sleep. Good morning, Rusty Crew. <laughs> no, we're just gonna skip right past there. That's a scary ass house. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Mm -mm. Not for me. Nope, we pretty much have everything we need though. But I think we are going to go ahead and end the episode right here in front of this house. And uh, we'll check it out in the next one. Frames are dropping. I don't know why. Is there a car in there? Yeah, but no, no Plymouth Fury. If there was a Fury in there, I would definitely go and check it out. And with that said, my friends, we have, yet a, we have accomplished yet another episode of The Long Drive. I really am glad you guys are enjoying this series. It means so, so much to me. And I'm so shocked that you guys are enjoying it as much as you are and it. It's just so exciting and makes me want to do this. Makes me want to crab walk across the desert. Just like this. You know, kind of just gets me super excited for the future of this channel and, you know, having you guys along for the ride. It is more than anyone could have told me what happened and it just means so much. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.